News indeed. Jordan, thank you. This coming Friday, thousands of the Catholic faithful will gather in South OKC for the dedication of the Blessed Stanley Rother Shrine. They will join Catholic bishops from around the United States and Guatemala to honor the farm boy from Oklahoma who could soon become a saint. At a resurrection cemetery in Northwest OKC, the most important piece in a massive memorial, Blessed Stanley Rother's body, is revealed. Raised. And ready for its final resting place. A lot of people ask, what was it like to go to a family gathering when Father Stan was there? What, what was it like to have a saint in your family? And, uh, and I always said, you know, he wasn't born with a halo. Father Don Wolf is Blessed Stanley's second cousin. Stan came home for the last time to the state of Oklahoma for my ordination. He is the parish priest at this shrine, which will also serve the area's growing Hispanic population and combine the parishes of Sacred Heart and Holy Angels. Questions by the score, what are we gonna do? How, what is this gonna look like? How, how will we arrange all this? We're all discovering this together. On the first Sunday, there will be an estimated 5,000 here for mass. If I'm supposed to be the living representative of the parish, yes, there'll be a lot of nervousness. The shrine is built in the Spanish colonial style, much like Blessed Stanley would have known in Guatemala. The grounds will also feature a replica of Tepeyac Hill in Mexico City, where the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared in 1531. All this, a $50 million shrine, the largest Catholic church in Oklahoma, dedicated to a man described by many as the least likely to ever become a saint. If somebody who's a Rother could be considered a saint, <laughs> then, then anybody could. Blessed Stanley was born on this farm in Okarchi. He was in the FFA and obviously grew up on a farm and he knew about farming and, and techniques like that. And it ended up, when he went to Guatemala, that was his strengths and that's what made him prosper down there. He had the quiet reserve of his mother and was a hard worker and stubborn like his father. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. He wanted to do what was right, regardless of the circumstances. Yet he never learned Latin, the sort of must for any would-be priest. He, he flunked out, um, and he was asked to, to leave the seminary where he had begun his training in San Antonio. The bishop believed in him and found him another seminary in Maryland. Father Stanley was ordained a priest in 1963 here in Oklahoma City. Ultimately, he was asked to join the mission in Guatemala based on skills outside of the church. He was sent down to, to, to do this work that nobody else could do because he was a better mechanic and, and, uh, and carpenter. When civil war grew increasingly violent, then Father Rother stubbornly stayed with his church and its members in Guatemala. He was murdered in his rectory in 1981. On Monday, his body was ceremoniously placed in the altar of the chapel at the shrine. O oh God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it. It's here where people from around the world are expected to come and pray for Blessed Stanley's intercession, his divine intervention.
People have asked me repeatedly, what's it going to take for Blessed Stanley to become Saint Stanley Rother? And I kind of say, well, it's going to take a miracle, you know. <laughs> but in fact, that's what it's going to take. Rother is the first U.S. born martyr, making him one miracle away from sainthood. The standards are very rigorous. Uh, we, the church will take a very skeptical approach to any reported miracles. So we'll see. The process has already moved along quickly. I'm hoping my dad and aunt can see that. That would be that would be a great thing. So God's made Stanley a saint. We're just trying to keep up. You know, the, 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 the bureaucracy is trying to catch up with what's already happened. But Father Wolf says that's the lesson in this for all of us. Holiness is not something that takes place in, the, in history books. Holiness isn't something that's, that's only present for those people who, from the very beginning, are, are somehow set apart from everyone else. If a stubborn farm boy from Okarchi who flunks out of seminary and is chosen for mission work because he's a good mechanic can become a saint. Holiness is... Um, uh, a, the product of what people do in the, the situations that they're a part of. Then there's hope for all of us. Of, of course, that's the way God would do things because that's the way God always does things. The dedication is at 11 Friday morning. The shrine will also have an education building, event space, and museum.